But before we continue, you guys, um, you're probably wondering, what kind of grub would I take to a dessert island? Me again. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Alright, I'm okay. So what kind of grub would I take to a deserted island? Well, being it's top the season, I'd probably take my, some of my favorite cereal. Hmm? A bag of my favorite chips, which actually I don't have a bag of my favorite chips, which would be sun chips or or even some Doritos. Mm. Apple. Just in case. Mm. Yum. And let's see, what else? Maybe some foods I can cook too. Like maybe I would take a bunch of ramen with me. Because ramen's pretty easy. You just put it in the water and boil it. Right? Hmm. I'm going to finish my grub here by Apple, and then we're going to get back on this, right? Hmm. Meanwhile, I'm watching Jackson play, and it looks like he's on Team Fun this time. Hmm. But like I said at the beginning of this, at the beginning. You're not stranded on the island, you know? You're not stranded on the island. You're just on a deserted island. The thing is, I would take food with me anyways. Because if I don't... If I don't take food with me, I'm going to starve. Because who knows if the food on the island is edible or poisonous. You know? So let me finish my apple here and we'll get back to the splat fest. So let me at least go back to the plaza. Right? Mark, you can eat the camera off stream, okay? Mark is cool though. Mark's a cool one. Hun? It's one of Curtis's favorites, so... Okay, so allow me to come over here and teach you guys a, a little bit. Okay, so... So get to know Swords Master Guy through Splatfest number two... Number three... Hey. Pokemon Starters. Okay, so the Splatfest theme is grass, fire, and water. But the question basically is, which, which starter will, do you choose? It's which one will you choose in the next game, technically, but... I, I did this as an in general thing. So, I will explain. Hey, all right. In the first Pokemon games ever, blue and red, I picked Squirtle as my first starter. And I'm basing this on first games I played of each, yeah, of each generation, okay? Yeah, Gen 1, I picked, I picked Squirtle. Gen 2, I picked Chikorita, hence Meganium's here. I also picked Chikorita and Crystal, but that doesn't count, so yeah. Meganium's actually really cool. Curtis got me, Curtis got me the three big ones for Christmas, Miss, the first year we started dating. And I've had them since. But yeah, first year, yeah, it was the first year we was, our first Christmas together. No, it was our, it was actually our, our first Christmas we were living together, I should say. Right? Yeah. So it was our second Christmas. What are these doing here? Eh, acid reducers. Anyway, so Gen 3 came along and the and the Pokemon I chose was Mudkip. I do not have my little Mudkip hip, hip here at the moment. I don't know where he went. He's somewhere in the apartment. I think he just fell somewhere, so I'll find him. Gen 4, even though Empoleon is my favorite, Gen 4, it was Turtwig that I started with. Turtwig was really cute, and I was like, like well, I was having an inside joke with a friend of mine about penguins being alive, but... But Empoleon started growing on me because Piplup was so adorable. And then I lost my copy of Pearl. Yeah. Gen 5. Um, I'm actually separating this into black and white and black and white too. Who? In black in Pokemon White, my starter was Snivy, the grass type. And I thought it was cool. As I got older, I did get hit, I did manage to get a copy of of White 2 and decided that Embor would be my final. So I started with, with Tepig. Mm -hmm. 
because Endor kind of looks like the beast form of Ganon. And, and you guys know that I like Ganondorf and main him in Smash. Gen 6, I'm going off of, I'm going off of X and Y, not o Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, because Omega Ruby Alpha, Sa Alpha Sapphire, when I got Alpha that game, I chose Mudkip again because Mudkip, I, I kind of had to. So, I did not choose Floki, but, but Greninja's a really cool Pokemon. I actually chose Fennekin because I thought it was cute. And then I learned that all three of the, the final evolutions were based on RPG classes, like Greninja's a rogue. Oh, and I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, with Delphox being a spellcaster and Chestnut not, uh, being the warrior. Which I actually thought was really cool. This concept. Gen 7. And we're going to go by, by Pokemon Sun and Moon. Not the, not the so-called remakes. We're going to go with... I went with Poplio because I thought, oh my god, that thing is so cute. That seal was so cute and I thought, oh my god. Alright, so... So when this plushie came out, when, when I got Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I had to be all over it. Because... Because actually, Primarina is a really cool Pokemon, I think. I actually like it a lot. I mean, I like Seal too, but, but I think Primarina is the better water type. Plus, it's fairy type, so you got coverage against dragons. Gen 8. I mean, you've seen him a lot on my streams. Score Bunny. Yeah, my dancing, my, my dancing ra rabbit. Meow. Mm -hmm. I, was going to, I was almost able to use him in a concert in 2021. Unfortunately... I had to bench him because I was having trouble holding my book and other reasons, but but yeah, I chose Score Bunny for Gen 8 because I thought the soccer rabbit was cool looking as its final. Now, the main reason I chose water for the Splat Fest is because when I start, when I like and, and Scarlet okay, on Friday, when I start Scarlet and Violet, I am choosing Quaxley. I already had the plan to choose him first because... As much as I like the Grass Kitty and the Bubble Bobble Dragon, and for the fire types, I, just, I actually thought oh, the duck looks really cool, and he'll evolve into something really cool. And I was right! That duck evolved into something fabulous. I mean, at first I thought, okay, this is actually an 18th century thing, but then I thought, looked at it closer and thought, okay, this is Pokemon's part, part of the as a little bit of a reminder. Uh, Pave from Animal Crossing. The Peacock. That yeah, comes around only when you press the bell. Which is going to be one of my challenge houses, actually. To, to base a, a house all of all the season. No, events. With, I don't know what the sixth one will be. Because we only have Halloween, Pink Turkey Day, Toy Day, a festival, and a sus party. Anyways, so that's my explanation of starters. Water starters have always been my go-to. When I play the other versions, I usually pick either the water starter or I pick the grass starter. But the only exception was the original diamond, because it was always like five, it was more like one type fire type in the game. That was Ponyta. So Infernape was my main in the diamond. So anyway, uh, Mr. Octopus, we cut that segment, didn't we? Wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble. Wobble. What are you doing? Oh, oh no, 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 get off of that way. No, 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 no. Oh, well, it did nothing to you. Wobble, 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 wobble. Not score, buddy, no. No, not score, buddy. Wobble, 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 uh oh, he's going after Mock! 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 Let's go. Okay, I need to tell you guys why I chose Team Sour for our Splat Press. So, welcome to another segment of Get to Know Swords Nasty Guy. Alright, so you guys might think for your taste buds, my favorite would have been sweet or spicy. Well, that's partially true. The thing is, yes, I love sweet things in my mouth. And yes, I do like spicy, especially for when I have to clear my sinuses. But, the thing is, guys, I like sour stuff a lot. In fact, tonight, tonight's drink is turkey 
no lemonade, which is a nice sour drink. Well, I guess it would be a little tart, but it's made of lemons. Lemons are sour. Ah. Ah, I just like that sensation of the sourness. But also, I got some Sour Patch Kids tonight, so, so this is one of my favorite snacks. So, like I said, sour sensations are really cool for me. I just like, I just like the sensation of it. It just gives me a really weird tingly feeling. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I bought some Sour Patch Kids for, for this breakfast this weekend, and, and some lemonade for tonight. Well, I'll probably have some other drink. I, I think I do have some lemonade in this black. So, we might have some more lemonade in this black. Okay. I mean, I would have chosen Team Sweet, but at the same time, as much as I like the sweet taste thing, I'm, I'm more into sour than sweet. And besides, I've liked sour things since, well, ever since I had some sour, sour warheads. Those things are good. You know, I should have bought some of those when I went out. Out this afternoon to, to go swimming. I should have stopped at the Dollar Tree and got lots of blah, 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 blah. What? It's the octopus. Hey, my co star's here. Here. You did really good earlier, you know? But. I, blah, 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 blah. What? Bobble? Um, he's eyeing my sour patches. Um, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Octopus. Do I need to remind you what happened with Muck? Because Muck would have been. In I guess poison would have been really bitter for him. Okay, okay, you can try the sour patch. Oh dear. I warned you! I warned him, guys! Guys, I warned Mr. Octopus. He doesn't like sour stuff. I'll get you some. I'll get you some water later, okay? Hey, but right now, let's get back to our splat fest. Alright guys, I am back and before I turn the camera on, because I have not had the camera on except for Ditto, usually I'm wearing a t-shirt that's the same color as the team I'm on for Slapfest for these get to know sessions. However, first of all, I don't have a brown t I don't have a light brown t-shirt unfortunately. I even checked the thrift store nearby for one. But because of tomorrow's Super Bowl, I'm wearing a different colored shirt. So But right now it's time for yeah, it's now time for Get to know Sword Fast and Die! Who's Light Fast? Alright, go to just me. Hi guys! I'm here. So yeah, I'm wearing my Eagles jersey because we are winning tomorrow. Uh, seriously, we are. I probably will wear it to rehearsal, I don't know yet. But, but Stephanie just wished me a happy birthday, so Stephanie, thank you so much. Anyway, so let's let's get to the the stuff. Chocolate. There's all kinds of chocolate out there, and let's be honest, I like them all. But the reason, I mean, I will eat a cookies and cream bar, which is white chocolate. Right? So I will definitely eat that. I do like dark chocolate once in a while, but I find it a little bit bitter. Even in Pokemon Sweet, uh, it was mentioned that cho dark chocolate is kind of bitter. But that was, a, that was a game I played a few years back. It was a Pokemon hack where all of the Pokemon were basically candy or sweets. Basically. But this is the main reason I chose... Oh, yikes. No wonder it was all melted. Look at the oxidation on it. Oh, yikes. I got from Turkey. Ew. Dang. But anyways, I chose... I still eat it. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. But, yeah, the, reason, the main reason I chose milk chocolate, I thought, the main reason I chose milk chocolate is because it's basically on all of my favorite candy bars. Of course, Milky Ways, Twix, well, I started eating Twix again because, because they are trying to say, you can pick a side if you want, but it's okay if you don't want to. So, I got back on Twix. What else do I eat that's the same? Oh! Hershey's Milk Chocolate Crackle. Crackle is one of my favorite candy bars of all time. But I just decided to point tonight's scene to just buy a standard milk chocolate. Because, once in a while, I do like a milk chocolate bar. 
Stop. I will explain that. Yes, once in a while I will eat dark chocolate. Hey, but that has to, but that's a rare occasion. Like if you got a chocolate covered nut. Oh, there's a nut. We got a nut. Hold on. I said nut. <laughs> there we go, that's enough nut. Um But if there's something dark chocolate covered, I will eat it. I don't mind. And the only time I really eat white chocolate is the cookies and cream bar. But anyway, but I don't want to wobble. Mr. Octopus, oh, where have you been? You haven't been around all stream, have you? Oh, just sitting in the chair next to me. Hey, huh? Uh-oh. Guys, he's eyeing the chocolate. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, must I remind you what happened with Muck and what happened with the Sour Patches? Oh, bobble, bobble, bobble. Mm. I don't know. He wants it. You know what? I think I will let him try it, but this time if he doesn't like it and the next one is food themed, I'm going to, I'm not going to get him over here. I, you want the chocolate? You try it. Uh, what the? Uh, Mr. Octopus, what are you doing? Um. Alright, people, I am actually back. Um, however, you guys, however, this is for Splatfest number six, the, the, what actually exists one. Um, I'm going to say this. This is actually a post- Splatfest one, due to the fact that during the weekend I was, during the weekend we were supposed to, no, no, during the weekend of the Splatfest, Curtis and I actually moved. So, this is one, it's a post, post Splatfest one, so I can tell you guys why I chose the team I did. So it's now time for another, get to know Swordmaster die. Okay, so, first of all, oops, wrong camera. Hi guys, it's me! Me, check it out! Check out my new apartment! And now, well, you'll see it on stream even before this video probably goes up, but guys, here's the thing. We've got another Splatfest in the books. The, the choices were, what's, what actually exists? Nessie, Aliens, or Bigfoot? I actually almost abstained from this one because I actually believe in all three. Now the thing is, I could have chosen Bigfoot because Bigfoot is in The Sims 2 and you can invite him to your house and stuff. Which is fun. You can even get him to move in, which I thought was funny. Aliens exist because you guys if any of you guys have watched my YouTube channel or Sims Wrestling Society at all, you guys know that my self sim is in a relationship with an alien. And so, here's the thing. Hmm? The thing is though, I chose Team Nessie, and I have my reason why. Um, and my reason why is because of the clip at the beginning of this, of this great moment. So let me just show you that clip, and I will actually have microphone on for that. All right? Um, hold on. Right, Peppy keeps scratching me. Hold on. Okay, so this is why I was Team Nessie. Basically because it's Tessie. I, I believe in the Loch Ness monster I'm my a lot. Plus, think about it. The Loch Ness monster has a Pokemon that was based off off of it, which is of course the Lapras. And now we ride across the lake. Yep, and we ride across the lake, and we come back to me. Okay, so, so there you go, guys. That's what Tessie. Yeah, I brought Lapras over to. Do some stuff, right? So, first of all, I'm. First of all, when this goes up, I will still be unpacking stuff. I still have to cover the video game shelf, which now you'll be able to see my collection of games instead. Um, I'm probably going to put a couple of frames over here, here, maybe one or two over there. Yeah, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, guys, let's get back to. The Actually, you know what time it is? It's, it's time for another... Well, let me get the music open. 
Let me get one apple because I forgot to do that this afternoon. Oops. Oops. Okay, game soundtracks. But it is now time for another edition of Get to the Swordmaster Guy. All right, so this so the theme this time is is which do you seek, which is supposed to be a promotional thing for Tears of the Kingdom, which is coming out next Friday. Which actually I will be getting it on Thursday night because. My local game store that I live here now is doing a midnight release. Right, so, the question for this Splatfest is, which do you seek? Well, this is the thing. I almost mistook this one for favorite character because I'm seeing a lot of posts there that people have chosen power because of Ganondorf, or people have chosen wisdom because of Zelda, or courage because of Link. But that's not the question. It's not which one is your favorite. Hit. Because if it was, I would be on Team Power. Because of Ganondorf, of course. of course. But, since it's not, it's what do you seek? Let me be honest. Hmm? Power co-ops. And let's be honest, I don't want a lot of power because I feel like my mind can be corrupted pretty easily with power. Wisdom? I already have enough wisdom. I'm wise enough to know that, well, well if something's going on in my relationship, then, then I need to get out of it. It, but at the same time, Curtis and I have been doing all right. Hey, I'm talking about my last relationship with my ex. Well, but that brings me to why I chose Team Courage. Guys, I'm going to be a bit serious for this one, alright? I mean, the last one was kind of serious, but this one's also going to be more serious. I actually lack courage, to be honest. Because ever since high school, I had been bullied, all right? I was bullied, well, not since high school, all my life I've been bullied. And at points, there had been some stuff that had been going on with me. Like, other students would bully me, and when I went to the staff about it, either they would not take action, or they would just, well, like I said, not take action, but... They might just ignore me. But honestly, it's kind of affecting my adult life, too. Thing is, I feel like I need more courage, because, I mean, even nowadays, and I will say this, this I mean, I'm going to be posting the VOD to, to Discord later, because this is kind of some human vulnerability. I just feel I can't ask for help on stuff anymore. And I've lost courage to do that. I've actually felt this way since middle school and, and high school. Because it was like nobody wanted to help me. At all. And I just felt like I was alone. You know? I mean, I did, I mean, there are some, there are some ways that I did gather courage. Like, I gathered the courage to do the Renaissance Fair, but then get the courage to leave the Renaissance Fair due to the differences. And then after what happened in Pulse in 2016, I got my courage to start embracing who I am. Yeah, which, of course, is a proud gay man. And the thing is, well, I got the courage to go, go to my first Pride events that year. Got the courage to realize realize that some people are terrible, and also got the courage to join the Harrisburg Game Men's Chorus. And I was actually not alone after that. But nowadays, though, I still lack courage to ask for stuff. Like, like I mean, when when we had the move, Look, let me explain that. All right, when we had the move, I was actually afraid to ask for help on that because. Honestly, I feel like I'm being judged all the time, and yeah, I just don't want to. I just don't want people to feel like I'm a burden to them. And it's always been that way since I've been young. And to be honest, it's actually been that it was that way when my evil sister moved in with me, but moved in back in with my mother back in 2013. 
But yeah, so I'm glad you I'm glad you've stuck with me this whole time. You know your friend's gonna be here this weekend. Actually she already is, but she's at the show tonight. So Monday I won't take you tomorrow, but Monday I'll take you to rehear I'll bring you in for rehearsal. Well, yeah. Sorry this one's taking a bit longer, guys, but I've been feeling some, a lot of, a lot of things about this flat fest, because, like I said, courage is what I seek the most, I think. Like, power, I don't seek it because it's corrupts, and wisdom, I'm wise enough to know things. It's just, I need the courage to do it. So, guys, this actually ends my human vulnerability part of the stream and the get to know Swords Master Guy segment. So oh, how about we get back to the Splatfest and because it's time for uh, oh, I'm not even in the folder yet. It's time for Get to know Swords Master Guy Here you go Ditto So so for tonight's Splatfest, it's all about the ice cream. And I already ate my ice cream earlier, so we're just gonna get to the get to know part, right? right? Okay, so so the question is, why did I choose Team Vanilla? And thank you for WB, BGS, appreciate it. So why did I choose Team Vanilla in the first place? Well, first of all, mint chip, ugh. I don't like cold mint. I mean, yes. Actually, I don't like mint, period. But... Sometimes I'll like, get, have a stick of gum or something that's mint, or or if it's like something mixed in, it's fine. But when it's frozen mint, yuck. Yuck, why do I want to eat toothpaste? Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. And strawberry, as much as I like strawberry, it's not the, it's not the kind I usually get. And of the three choices, vanilla is the one I usually buy. Because it's the basis for a lot of other ice cream flavors, like... Like the other day when I got the ice cream for for the Splatfest, it's it's the basis for cookies and cream, which is one of Curtis's favorites. Oh, and mine of course. But I decided to just go plain vanilla. Well, almost plain vanilla. <laughs> but anyway, so oh, vanilla is basically the basis of all a lot of my favorite ice creams. I mean, chocolate is too. But since chocolate wasn't a choice, vanilla was my next. Next. I mean. Sure, I like strawberry once in a while. Mint, like I said, tastes like toothpaste and it's freezing. Blech, 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 blech. And well, the well, thing is, I'm I'm always liking ice cream. Chocolate is my favorite. Vanilla comes out close second. And actually, I remember a couple of things that vanilla is, ice cream is used in a lot of stuff. Like, a la mode is one of the things. Like, if I get one of those big Belgian waffles, I want a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. Huh. Although I don't mind another flavor. But yeah, so or if I want ice cream cake, the first the first flavor I look at is well, the basis of an ice cream cake is vanilla, usually. And I like to always find an ice cream cake once in a while, but but that's only for special occasions like let's see, what is coming up at special Oh two months from now. Curtis and I will have been together for four years. Here's, oh my god. god what kind of anniversary stream should I do that day? Uh, well, that's, um, but that's a couple months away. And one other thing I like about uh, vanilla ice cream? Blizzards. I mean, you can get them in chocolate, but, but vanilla ice cream is the basis for a blizzard from Dairy Queen. And actually, I just realized something. I forgot to bring Vanilux out because Vanilux... It, va vanilla's in the name. name. But Vanilux is one of my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorites from Gen 5. In fact, BGS and I had a battle at one point, and they kicked my butt with it. With one that exploded. Ice cream was everywhere, and I was... <laughs> I was a little embarrassed. But but I don't play competitive Pokemon. I just play for fun. Fun and casual. Well, But they had a really good team on, it, on their Vanilla. Vanilux. Anyway, so 
Oh, oh, hi, Grimer. Grimer. Uh, Mr. Octopus? Oh, are you introducing my segment tonight? Hey, okay, yes, Mr. Octopus is here tonight, guys, so... Oh, and now it's time for... Let me start it. I I was on Teemu the other day and I decided to order that scroll of Ganondorf. Because, because of course, you know he's one of my favorite characters. Anyway, so Mr. Octopus. You're here too because of the love, aren't ya? Okay, so why am I on Team Love? Okay, this actually goes all the way back to 2008. Well, 2007-2008, where I felt, felt that, you know, let me be honest. I think everybody deserves a chance at love. Whether it was all my Sims in The Sims 2, or or anybody. I mean, think about it. If you watched my SWS series, you saw that there was a romance going on between Ganondorf and Maury Smith. Yes, which I actually really thought was a cute romance. I mean, I mean, Ganondorf was kind of insulted by an evil bigot saying that he'll never find love. But, as that as that progressed, I kept thinking to myself, wait a second, I wonder if there's this always why demise takes over Ganondorf's mind and body, which is the premise of the RPG. In the backstory I'm writing for Past Hyrule, go for it, the main reason demise always appears is because Ganondorf doesn't have any friends. He has followers, and he has his sisters in the Gerudo Fortress, but... Are any of them truly his friends? Is the question. And that's why King, that's why Prince Corvanus becomes his first friend in the backstory, and eventually becomes his lover. So, to why I've chosen love, other than the fact that I have basically, I basically think everybody deserves a chance at love. I, as much as I would like more money as, and fame's not. Not that important to me. Well, it used to be, but it's not as important to me anymore. So, so I chose Team Love because, well, I'm full of it. I love just about everything. I love just about everybody. There are some people I don't like because I've been used by them. Uh, there are some people who I I don't like then, but there are a lot of people I love. BGS, you're in the stream right now. I love you, my friend. I've known them since 2015, and they have been... They have just been wonderful. I mean, you guys saw the break video. Oh. Most of those... Most of those clips, he was actually here for... Oh, yeah. He was actually here for those clips. And I... And that's one of the reasons I chose those ones in particular for the new break video. And I do feel... Day. Sorry. Sorry. I keep saying. I'm not a historian yet. I will get there, okay? Hey. But they have been here the whole. for all those. So, yeah. Okay. Alright. So. And I'm still madly in love with Carnus. He's asleep right now, but. But I'm still in love with him because he had. Because he had actually shown he wants to improve himself as well. He had done that over the past couple of years, and that's the reason I stayed with him. I mean, there are more ways to love. Like, friendship is always a good, is a good way to love. Mr. Octopus is a friend, of course. Octopus, ah, 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 ah. I know you're a friend. Mwah. And of course, Ditto. I mean, love doesn't necessarily have to be romance, right? You can love somebody without wanting to. Who be in a relationship romantically with them. Um, I mean, that's kind of how it starts with Ganondorf and, and Corvanus in the in the story. They're just friends. 
even though there is some tension there, but I think it to there yeah, soon enough. Anyway, so oh, I'm gonna get Ditto back on camera and wait. Hello everyone, Swordmaster Guy here, and I would like to thank everybody for watching my video on on getting to know me through Splatfest. I have actually worked very hard on it, uh, thinking about everything that I wanted to say and and what team I would be on all the time. But now I just want to let everybody know that the next Splatfest is actually supposed to be which one would be the best leader. I would not be doing a Get to Know Swordmaster Guy segment that stream because. I actually feel all three would be the best leader, and I will actually explain why during the Splatfest next week. No, on on September 12th, sorry. But I will be explaining that when I get the chance, and it will replace my Get to Know segment until the next Splatfest. Alright, so once again, I would just like to thank everybody for watching, and and I hope you guys will continue to tune in. My Twitch channel link is below. And I will hopefully see you guys in my streams in the future. Have a good day, everyone. Mm -hmm.